It's just a float, you scaredy cat. They sure do look happy, don't they, Spyro? Well, it's not every day that a dragon gets his dragonfly. Uh, right, Sparks. So, we meet again, little dragon. I'm back, and I'm stronger than ever! Who are you calling little, Shorty? Nobody invited you! This is an invitation-only party. Very clever, Dragon. You know, you should join me. We would make a great team. What do you want this time, Ripto? Oh, yeah! <laughs> what do we want this time, boss? You're not hired for your brains, you dinosaurian land mass! Keep thinking and I will send you back to the place I found you, unemployed in Molten Crater, begging for work from Nasty North. Now, back to what I was saying. Well, what do I want this time? I'm glad that you asked, Purple Pest, and I will be happy to demonstrate. Since I've had enough to do with dragons, I thought, perhaps, dragonflies. <laughs> well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but... You see, without the power of dragonflies, the dragons are nothing. Soon, the dragon homelands will be mine. <laughs> Spyro, that little lizard totally stole all the dragonflies. Even Sparks is gone. Spyro, Hunter, don't worry. I think I know where to start. Follow me. I thought I lost you, pal. That was close, Sparks. Listen, I think I may have figured out a way to catch those dragonflies. Spyro, stand back. <laughs> That didn't exactly work right. I'm still learning, you know, Spyro. The good news is I've created a powerful magic that will enable you to use different breath abilities. The bad news is you're going to have to find dragon runes to use them, since the spell scattered them in different parts of the dragon realms. Cool! Come on, Sparks! Let's get going! We've got a lot of work ahead of us if we want to find those dragonflies. Do you think we'll ever get a day off? dragon rune to the dragon spirit over there. With this rune, he'll be able to combine dragon magic with my magic and grant you bubble breath to catch dragonflies. They're shy and will probably run away from you anytime you come near them. Tap your L button to switch back and forth between fire and bubble breath. The magic of this sacred room will bestow upon you the power of bubble breath. Baby, <laughs> 
So where exactly do I find these butterfly sparks? If you press the A button to jump, then press the A button again in midair, you can glide. Try using your glide to follow me. Way to go, Spyro! I think I see something shiny on that ledge over there. You can get there by hovering. To hover, press the Y button at the end of your glide. Nice work, Spyro! And check this out. I found a dragonfly. Here, why don't you take it? <laughs> hey, it's Bubbles. That sounds easy enough, but what's the challenge? What do I have to do? Activated? How do I activate the portal? I don't see any switches or power buttons. Okay, that dragonfly is as good as free.
Work, Spyro. Use the stones to get to the dojo. Remember, Spyro, find the dragonflies before Ripto. Spyro! It looks like the Riptox have frozen all the Dragon Masters! You're going to have to use your flame breath to melt the ice and find out what happened here! Steffi! Thank goodness you had the sense to free me from that icy cage. Who would have thought the Riptox would dare invade the sacred Dragonfly Dojo? Spyro, do what you can to return the Dojo to its peaceful state by freeing all of the Dragon Masters. Remember Spyro, the way of the Dragon is to be a Dragon.
I'm sorry the dojo is in such a state for your visit. It's usually a haven of tranquility. It is here that dragonflies grow up and train to be dragon companions. Protecting young dragonflies is a dragon sensei's highest calling, you know. And Spyro, your efforts will result in much reward. Thank you. 
Dragon spirits guide you on your way. Ah, Spyro! In trouble again, I see. What a surprise. Dragons in danger or something like that? Well, you'll have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the other dojos. Although I may be practicing compassion, money still has my soul. Thanks, Spyro. These gems are music to my ears and will do wonders as inspiration for my poetry. But look, Spyro, even I know some magic when properly motivated. seem to be much of a challenge for you. Perhaps you should contemplate a career as a dragon sensei. It could be your density. I mean, your destiny. Now, I will open that gate. That, it appears, is my density. I mean, destiny, Spyro. <laughs> Hey, it's gone! 
trying to climb this bonsai tree all day. There's something shiny up there, and I just know it's the kite I lost last summer. Can you save my kite, Mr. Spyro? That tree is so hard to climb. Maybe there's another way to reach the kite. Oh, it sure is hot out here. Welcome to our tank training arena, Private Dragon. Now I've got a prize for you if you can destroy all the dummy tanks. But you'll have to figure out how to get past the gates. Will you clear out the tank training arena?
Well done, Private. You're a clever dragon, ain't you? Smart enough to get the gates open and skillful enough to survive the tanks. As a reward, I'll let you have the dojo mascot. Hey, it's Cub! If you'd like, I can set up some more dummies for you. Would you like to do some target practice? Well, that's too bad. But I'll have this tank ready for you when you change your mind. Well, little dragon, freeing the dragon senses took much courage. I think this baby dragonfly will be safe with you. <laughs> hey, it's Roxy! Remember, Spyro, find and return the remaining baby dragonflies. They are the fortune of the dragon realms.
Pyro, the magic of this sacred room will grant you the power of electric breath. Okay, so what's the challenge this time? Activated? How do I activate the portal? I don't see any switches or power buttons. Okay, that dragonfly is as good as free.
Dragonfly Spyro, you should have no problem getting this here UFO to work now. Hop aboard, but beware. The space cows, they're everywhere, everywhere. Spyro, Space Rip Talks have arrived from nowhere and have overrun the farm looking for dragonflies. Since they haven't been able to find any, they've been abducting cows and locking them inside the big barn. <laughs> and I'm afraid I'm next. Don't worry, I'll help you. You will? Golly, thanks. You just need to go around back and unlock the big red barn and rescue them cows.
it's Akira. Glad to meet you. Have you seen any of my cows? There's a space reptile holding that dragonfly hostage. If you activate all the platforms around the tower by jumping on them, it'll lower the tower down so you can rescue it. Attempt the trial of the platforms? Let's 
that's the spirit. Purple dragon sure has some spunk. Now, here's a dragonfly for you, son. <laughs> hey, it's Rickshaw. Attempt the trial of the platforms? I'm glad you're here. I just knew there was something suspicious about this farm. Space cows are everywhere, and now a big UFO is coming to abduct Farmer Dill's cows. 
There's a prototype tractor beam on this UFO that you can use to beam up the cows and put them into the corral. Hey, wait a minute. How does Farmer John have a UFO? Farmer Dill needs your help. Will you try rescuing the cows with the prototype UFO? You better hurry, here it comes now. Don't let that nasty UFO get a single cow. Awesome, Spyro! You saved all the cows! By the way, I found this dragonfly hiding in the barn. Here you go! <laughs> hey, it's Tingles! Did you see that? Farmer Dill forgot to lock the gate and the cows got out! And it looks like there's more UFOs this time. Do you think you're up for another run? Farmer Dill needs your help. Will you try rescuing the cows with the prototype UFO? Watch out for the gold UFOs. Those mean little guys will shoot your eye out.
take my pet dragonfly as my thanks. Make sure to feed her lots of crickets. She just loves them. <laughs> hey, it's J-Dubs. Do you want to take a spin in the prototype UFO? Thanks again, Spyro. You can come back anytime you feel like taking the prototype UFO for a spin. I'm gonna hang out here and watch the skies for space cows. The truth is out there, Spyro. Doors are jammed. I set some explosives but don't have any matches. My mama always told me that I should never play with matches. Anyway, maybe you could help me with the light. Hey there, Dragon. Thanks for helping out this here farm. Anytime, Farmer Bill. Here, take this thing in my jig. I was gonna use it in my new smoker BBQ for flavor. 
<laughs> hey, it's Fiona. Go get them and move them back here. <laughs> Way to go, Spyro! We'll make a farmer out of you yet. By the way, while you were out looking for my cows, I found this here critter and I think it may belong to you. <laughs> hey, it's Cedric. Bobby. 
You got enough dragonflies to get the boat up and running. Hop aboard. Am I glad to see you? What's going on around here? Those Riptox have decided to have a luau feast, and I just found out that we're the main course. Hmm. <laughs> Please save us, Spyro. The Riptox have locked us all up behind these cage doors. We're stuck here waiting for them to come back. 
I heard them whispering something about hot and spicy sauce. I'd love to help, but how am I going to get you out of there? Each cage is sealed and can only be opened by finding and activating a switch. Find each switch to open each cage. Mm. Activate that switch, and I go free! Thank you so much, Spyro. I just couldn't have handled being eaten for dinner. No problem. I'll keep a nose out for your friends. I think I can smell them roasting off in the distance. <laughs> just kidding. you on the island, but I didn't believe it. You gotta help me. One of the Riptox keeps calling me Ham Sandwich and asking me if I'd go better with mustard and mayonnaise. You got to me before the Riptox could.
Save me. I swear I could hear the sausage grinder calling my name. No problem. Saving pigs on vacation is what I was born to do.
Spyro, I was out here checking out my baby manta ray farm and those stupid rip talks have scared them all away. Let's race to see who can capture more of them before time runs out. Capture the baby manta rays? Bunga, dude! You got all of them in time, and they're safe and sound! <laughs> hey, it's Krishnamurti! Want to try capturing them again? All right, I'll see if I can calm them.
The gate's open. Huh? It is? Oh, well, what do you know? Look at that. Silly me. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> hey, it's Dip. Hello, Spyro. Unga. We Tiki getting ready for big Tiki tourist luau. Unga. We teach tourists how to play drums, Tiki di Tiki style. Tiki Tiki Unga boom. <laughs> diggy Diggy Lolo. Come now, me Tiki see Spyro has want to play drums before tourists get here. Unga, go play. Unga, good, good, have fun. We Tiki will play, then Spyro plays same thing back. We take turns. <laughs> Don't worry, we Tiki start small, so you learn one note at a time. Unga, pow! <laughs> Ready? I <laughs> Spyro best drummer. Unga boga hula ma al. 
Hey, it's Terrell. Spyro good drummer already, but are you big drumming champion? Let's find out. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's wow! We think he knew you were a big drumming champion. Please take this for reward. Hey, it's Maverick! Spyro, best drummer ever! I have no more dragonflies, but drumming fun! Play more! Ooh, that...
Tomorrow, the magic of this sacred room will grant you the power of wing shield. in and it will take you up up to the clouds try not to get dizzy i did and almost lost my ham and sheep sandwich ha, sheep did i say that The Riptox have invaded our palace and sabotaged the machines powering our hourglass. Your electric breath would be perfect for powering the machines. No one around here can get any sleep. Can you help us?
Spyro, now I can power up the swirly. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, it's Ice Boy. Lightning clouds are electrifying the pools. Can you use your super flame breath to get rid of them? Use the portal to power up your flame breath and get it to work. Great job, Spyro! While you were taking care of the clouds, I found this flying thing stuck in one of them. He seems lost. <laughs> hey, it's Takahiro! Can you swim to the next machine? I'm too scared of the water. For the help, Spyro. Here's a dragonfly for you. <laughs> hey, it's Rick!
is under attack. Please, save us from the battleships. Defend the Puffy Palace?
Short one, uh, sir, sir, short one. Something went wrong with your scepter. Uh, I think the dragonflies were scattered all over. Scattered, scattered. Oh. Something must have gone wrong with my scepter. The dragonflies must be scattered all over the continent. No matter. Without their dragonflies, the dragons are helpless. <laughs> I'll send my Riptox out to collect them all and put that purple dragon out to pasture.
magic of this sacred rune will bestow upon you the power of ice breath. To get more balloon working. Thank you. 
Hey, it's Howie. <laughs> Hey, it's Fluffy! You did a great job!
It's morning. Unbalanced Riptox have invaded our sacred monastery. Of course, we practice divine compassion, so we really can't get involved in anything violent.
I know you've heard that Yeti are scary monsters, but we are peaceful, which is why we live here in this once peaceful realm. The true monsters are the Riptox, and they've taken my coin and imprisoned them in the ice. Can you save the five Yeti with your flame breath? young dragon. I believe the turret behind you could be a very useful weapon for you to use on your quest. We use it for our annual snowball war. Oh, it's quite an event. Although we are a non-violent people, we do have our vices. Perhaps you might want to glide over there and try it out. I like the cold, but I don't like it that much.
Ouch! are a menace. Oh, I think they are guarding the yetis trapped within the ice here. Can you use the turrets to help free them? It's a good thing you came along when you did, Dragon. me off guard, Spyro. Many thanks for your help.
Spyro. The Riptox have invaded our land and are constructing tort factories to destroy the monastery. Do you think you can destroy all the Riptox factories with the Spitfire plane? Destroy the Riptox turret factories? Why don't you take it? <laughs> hey, it's John! The Riptox just keep rebuilding their factories, so feel free to go destroy them anytime you... Destroy them... Oh. What happened? I feel like an ice lolly! Did those rip talks put me on ice? He can't! Spyro, that's a good dragon. Hey, it's Shaq! 
Welcome to our ancient slide, Spyro. Get to the bottom before time runs out. Sliding between flags will give you more time. If you can make it to the bottom in time, I'll have a special prize for you. Ride the slide. It's slide work. Here, I found this dragonfly wandering around down here. It's slide work. Here, I found this dragonfly wandering around. <laughs> hey, it's dancing. You can always come back to practice the slide if you like. We find it. Would you like to? Okay, come back anytime.
the Yeti will always welcome you with open arms. <laughs> hey, it's Jorwin. Do it, Spyro. Hop aboard the raft and get ready for the honey moss. Critters have messed this here place up, but good. I tells you what, I'll make you a deal as sweet as honey. There are some honey stills draining all the honey from Honey Marsh. 
you help us get rid of them, and any of them there dragonflies you're going on about that you find along the way, you can keep. Just keep that between us now, you hear?
Welcome to Honey Marsh's Sticky Swamp Shootout. Us honey folk done love shooting stuff with our tank. We're giving away a dragonfly to anyone who can shoot down all them at target. You think you're dragging enough to handle it? It's a blast! <laughs> Great! Make sure to shoot all the bees before your honeycomb boat gets to the end of the course or you'll lose! Don't worry, they are highly trained and extremely well-paid professionals. Nobody will actually get hurt. Well, almost nobody. Some shooting, Spyro. You sure you ain't my fifth cousin? Congratulations, you win the grand prize. Well, maybe not that grand, but hey, it's awful pretty. <laughs> hey, it's Bliskin. We're all out of them dragonflies, but you can play the sticky swamp shootout again if you want. You know, for fun. You think you're...
It's Russell Tim. There's a problem here. Well, these here rip talks have set up shop in our trees. They're using them bees to launch attacks on us. Well, if you could wipe them all out, I'd be much obliged. When you're done, go see my second cousin, Warren Bob. Cool. Now it's time to go kick some rip talk butt. Well, them beehives are pretty tough, so you're gonna need to swallow those rocks and spit them out like watermelon seeds. <laughs> Ooh, I could handle it. I wasn't born in the back country, you know. Yeah, but I didn't think you could really do it. Now I owe Jimmy Bob five bucks. And you owe us one dragonfly. 
I sure not do. Hey. <laughs> hey, it's Lily. a whole mess of trouble by getting rid of them nasty critters. Glad I could be of service. Here's a dragonfly for you, little fella. Don't spend it all in one place. Hey, it's Taka. Well, I was gonna keep that dragonfly as a pet, but them critters are just more troubles than there was. Besides, they got them bug eyes, too. Mm, gives me the creeps. Yeah, tell me about it. Hi! one of the dragonflies. Can you chase him down the slide so we can get the dragonfly back? But be careful. He, he, he's got a stinger that would whip my bad back right into shape.
with your help, we managed to stop that bee right in its tracks. He won't be bothering anyone anymore. I got the dragon fire from him too. Here you be. <laughs> what a precious writing down the honey slide. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, if there's anything I hate more than a dragon, it's a purple dragon. You've caused me enough problems, Spyro. This time I'll take care of you permanent. Pocus, pocus. You'll be very, very sorry! The magic of dragons can't last forever! Can it? Magic to make this carpet fly up and away! Hop aboard! have turned our treasure into monsters! Can you do anything to help us?
Wizard Riptock has captured a dragonfly! Use your lightning breath to activate all the triggers and lower the wizard's tower! Enter the-
made it to the wizard. Hey, it's Morpheus. Wanna try the platform puzzle again? Come back any time.
<laughs> hey, it's Copper Top.
and press the switch to open that door up there. Unfortunately, I forgot my water wings. Again. Say, maybe you can do it. Watch out for...
Hey, it's Atsumi!
Hey, it's Racket. My contraption is working! Step right in and it will transport you somewhere really cool. At least, I think it will. Yeah. <laughs> The R1000 and the TRX 1000s have escaped from their inescapable cages and are running amok through the jungle. Please stop them before they destroy the rest of the science labs and all of our research. No problem. But say, what's a R1000 something something? 
Well, to put it in simplified terms that even a dragon can understand, they're mechanically enhanced nanotech propulsion oriented riptox, which uh, we've been working on here in our labs. Uh, quite the state of the art, I might add. But they're very. Oh, really? And how exactly would I go about destroying these things? Well, we did find a flaw in the R1000 models when they were uh, exposed to sub-zero temperatures. Perhaps that information will come in useful. <laughs> no problem. I have just the right breath to chill them out. Great! On the other hand, the T-Rex 1000s are quite vulnerable to electricity. Yet we've not been able to get close enough to them to zap them with an electrical charge. this temple and it's quite fascinating oh yeah how so well i believe that these strange drawings on the walls are a clue to something hidden away in this temple but i can't quite decipher them yet <coughs> yes and from what i have been able to decipher it seems that the gems on the statues inside react to heat Perhaps you can figure out the rest, Spyro.
indicate that this volcano is about to explode. Slide down to the bottom before it's too late and don't worry about me. Save yourself. Slide down the volcano.
thousands destroyed my lab and ran off with my equipment. Um, hello? Oh, um, hey Spyro. Say, I, I don't suppose you could help me get my equipment back, could you? Great! Thanks, Spyro. Well, you, you, you see all those R1000s out there? Say, borrowed my equipment. All I need you to do is to get it back for me. <laughs> Simple. Oh, that's all you want me to do. Uh, and how exactly do you want me to do that? There's a lava pit out there. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it just so happens that we scientists here have needed to go on to the lava also. We therefore develop these devices that you can use too. Here, let me turn it on for you. There. Now all you have to do is pass through this gateway and you will be able to walk onto the lava without being hurt. However, Spyro, the invulnerability that you have to the lava won't last long. But you can come back and recharge if necessary. Cool. Now it's time to go kick some rip talk butt. Good luck to you. Dragonfly under some broken equipment I found in my lab. You can have it! <laughs> hey, it's Jason!
come to the tower of scary and ridiculous heights. <laughs> if you can climb to the top of the tower, you will prove yourself worthy of the tower's secret treasure. Why a tower exists in the middle of the jungle is a secret hidden away ages ago. Climb the Tower of Terror! <laughs> That's the spirit, Spyro. Watch out for falling rocks and blow dart traps. Uh, there are some mean-looking spiders up there, too. Uh, just avoid everything and get to the top. I've never seen anyone get up here before. Really? Then how did you get up here? Oh, that. Well, there's a hidden elevator that only I know how to find. But anyway, uh, you'll have to keep it a secret. But there's not really any treasure up here. I never actually thought that anyone could get to the top. What? So I did all that for nothing? Well, I guess I should give you something. It's not... <laughs> hey, it's Warren! I don't have any more dragonflies to give you, but you can try climbing to the top again if you want. You know, uh, just for fun. You do know what fun is, don't you, Spyro? Over there stole something from me. Can you believe that? He 
stole a biomolecular hologram projector from me. And if you would kindly retrieve it, I will reward you graciously. I found in the jungle. <laughs> hey, it's Bulky. was no sweat. As a reward for your heroic efforts, and in the name of good science, please accept this as a reward. <laughs> hey, it's walking.
You're back again? How is this possible? I will take care of you permanently. Oh, wait a minute, I said that last time. I wouldn't want to sound like a video game cliche. Let me try that again. This time, I will take care of you once and for all. Pocus, pocus.
not again. My plans were so perfect. Twice I put my faith in this staff, and twice it has failed me. Dragons, dragonflies, I can't win. I can't win! Well, that's what you get for playing with your little sticks. Silly Ripto, don't you know magic and dinosaurs don't mix? You haven't heard the last of me, you little demon. I'll be back, and you'll be sorry. Every last one of you will be sorry! Yeah, I bet. Well, as normal as fairy tales go anyway, pal. I'll tell you what though, guys. We weren't just gonna stand by and let Ripto ruin this day for the baby dragons. Right, Sparks. Or the dragonflies. Well, everything is finally back to normal. Isn't it, Spyro? <laughs> <laughs>